Well, I got this uh, booklet in, came after the big launch, which had been nice to have seen it before the big launch, but uh, really, you know, I know everybody's probably already talked about the big launch, and, and uh, I'm, I'm really late in the game talking about it. But because I got this in the mail, um, which is the American dream and the dawn, a new era has arrived, model year 2024. Rock City Harley Davidson printed up above, but I, I know when I go online to shop and everything, it, it automatically goes to Rock City because that's the closest Harley Davidson dealership uh, that I live near. And uh, this, it's a, this is a pretty neat little book. It's talking about the American dream, calls us to places that perch on the edges of our imaginations beckon us to ride out and discover from sunrise to sunset from sea to shining sea and the introduction of the all new 2024 street glide and 2024 road glide marks the rebirth of two grand american touring icons and dawn of a new era at harley davidson Ride with us and see and feel the beauty of America and become an integral part of our enduring dream. Well, it's true, they've gone totally premium. Now they got some beautiful machines, you know. Now here's this, like I said, this goes along with the video that came out. And uh, you know, they got some nice pictures uh, the all new 2024 Street Glide. And they talk about, you know, different upgrades of the screen and all that kind of things and everything. And the designs and the bat wing fairing, the contrast cutout wheels and LED lighting and performance. It's got 117 cubic inches. Remember when they used to be the saying about, you know, having a 74 or so much, much more. Yeah. Well, they keep increasing the power and increasing the power, but do, do they really increase the fun? You know, <laughs> or just increase their profits? Yeah. Anyways, innovation. You know, they talk about the new screen and comfort and adjustable windscreen and the seats and, you know, uh, brake, you know, adjustable brake lever. Uh, Adjustable brake lever, wow, Taylor. This is stuff uh, some smaller manufacturers have had for years. So. But it's great, you know, they're, you know, and then they get into the all new Road Glide. And uh, I don't know if you've priced them or not lately, but they're pretty hefty price up there. But, uh, you know, and they talk about the new designs of the cow. Uh, and of course, the form, performance, everything's coming with a 117. I remember when I bought my twin cam, the, you know, the first one. This, yeah, my first one is 103 cubic inches. And the current twin cam I got right now is only, what, 88? <laughs> yeah. But uh, all the innovations, you know, to get the, you know, Everything that you need, ride modes and Skyline OS, whatever the world, oh, navigation. You know, of course, the comfort, aerodynamics, the seat, adjustable, you know, new handlebars. And they're wider and better and whatever. And of course, the all new 2024 CVO Road Glide ST. Well, the CVOs, though, I noticed when I visited my local Harley shop recently, and which if, if you know, at the end of this video, it, it'll, it'll list up on the right or left of, of, of the screen, wherever, but that'll be at the end of the screen. Uh, it's gonna pop up. And uh, they had tons of CVOs, at, you know. Those, those are really <laughs> expensive. You know, with the CVO 25th anniversary graphics and everything, signature LED lighting, the shark nose fairing, and you know, Road Glide ST. But CVO, man, I think they, it, it's time to rest that in a way, you know, and because you can go ahead and buy your custom Harley and this, you know, 
and the custom vehicle operations and uh, and of course you know this little booklet it goes along it tells you oh what's this on the CVO 121 cubic inches high output cubic inches v-twin motor whoa that's that's a huge I mean we're getting to where cars you know that's the size of an engine for a car nowadays you know because uh, technology has gotten so that we can power cars with engines that size and and actually outperform these motorcycles in, so, in many ways but anyways <laughs> and of course you know now they got the Pan American's got its own CVO it's got all the little special graphics and the bags and you know the crash bars and, and I just wonder how much you know, I'm, you know, I always tell people, you know, when they say, what's well, a good first bike? And I always tell them to get a dual sport, you know, so you, you know, get some experience off, off the road and, but you can get, you know, experience on the road and off the road and everything else. But uh, I'll tell you what, the Pan American is not the dual sport <laughs> a new riders need, I'll tell you. And, uh, Anyways, Harley Davidson, you know, they outdid themselves so with this adventure bike. It's been selling pretty well, I think. It's probably doing better than their touring models. I don't know. I don't look into those things. I'm not into the business of it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm at the point where I cannot afford any of these things. I'm glad they sent me this, you know. Uh, I, I like looking at new stuff. And here's, you know, things about the 2024 CVO Street Glide. And they get, tell you all about it, the graphics. I got a good picture of the one they have at uh, Rock City Harley-Davidson, well, with that color scheme and everything. Of course, they get into performance and whatever. All the new innovations. Of course, they got, they're pushing the CVO Road Glide. They're, they're going after the big part profit margin, not selling a lot of bikes, but the big profit margin. And I really believe a lot of uh, manufacturers nowadays, I don't see it so much in the Japanese motorcycles uh, or the Indian, uh, not the Indian brand, but the Indian produced motorcycles, you know, Royal Enfield, whatever. I don't say them trying to get the last of the big profit, but it looks like Harley Davidson is fixed on this, uh, you know, the electric push and everything. So right now they're trying to maximize their profits with these uh, premium machines, you know, that are for the average Joe, you know, these, these machines are out of their hands, but uh, you know, that's what they're doing. I think what they're doing, they're just trying to grab the profit. And we've seen it in the automotive industry. You know, all these oversized pickup trucks and, and SUVs with all the extras, you know, that, that, that you just, you know, you can't get a stripped down vehicle anymore. Everything's got so much. They're going for the profit margin, trying to keep their stockholders happy as they move into a different business model of something. You know, we got all these people that are trying to outlaw the internal combustion engine and once that's done personal transportation is going to be down to bicycles and walking you know not motorcycles not cars uh, you know people won't be able to afford what's out there of course they got the rest of their line up here in this booklet you know they got the road glide limited road glide you know, the, the Road King special, I mean, you know, you, they don't even put out a Road King that comes with a windshield. You got it, it's an extra. <laughs> and uh, the Ultra Limited, Road Glide 3, the Tri Glide Ultra, the Free Wheeler. Free Wheeler is the least expensive trike that Harley Davidson makes, and it's way out of my, my ballpark. I can't afford the payments on any of the stuff. Of course, I'm a retiree, so it doesn't really matter anymore. Pan American 1250 Special, 
You know, online you still see people yelling, what happened to the Bronx and this and that, but I don't know if anybody would buy that anyways. News Sportsters, the Nightsters, the Nightster and Sportster S, that's the ugliest engine I ever saw. I tell you what, I think the Honda Rebel looks better than these three bikes, you know. They got the Honda Rebel and the 300 and the 500 and the 1100, you know. And they're all, of course, a lot cheaper than any of these. But it goes back to the argument that Harley's pricing themselves out of business and everything else. I did the math. The brand new Sportster I bought back in 1978, 79 XLCH. When you convert it for inflation and everything, it's it's basically the same price as these bikes here. Got the Low Rider S, Bat Boy, the Breakout. These are only the smaller cruisers that we really have. Soft tails. Standard, the Street Bob, same bike, Her Heritage Classic 115, and that's it. And they want you to become a member. You know, join today, HDCom membership. You know, HD membership. They're not even calling it hog, I don't think. Let's see, HD membership free for anyone with the app. Excess Pass, $29 a year. Rider Pass, $49 a year. And But if you want to be in the hog, it's gonna cost you $60 a year. It's the whole lineup, you know? And the touring lineup, and then Street Glide, Road Glide, Road King Special, Ultra Limited, Road Glide Limited, the Road Glide 3, the Tri Glide Ultra, the Free Wheeler, the Pan American 1250 Special, then they got the CVO models, four different ones. Uh, you know, a Street Glide, Road Glide, Road Glide, and Pan American. Over there, the Sport, the Nightster, the Nightster Special, Sportster S, and then they're down to seven cruisers. Low Riders, a couple Low Riders, the Breakout, Soft Tail Standard, Street Bob, Fat Bob 114, oh, Fat Boy 114, I'm sorry, and the Heritage Classic. And uh, of course, they're promoting, you know, their the homecoming, July 25 through 28, 2024. I talked to a friend of mine that went to the last one, you know, from Ohio. He said him and his wife had a great time. Anyway, I got this book. It's from Harley Davidson, and it's talk, talking about American dreaming. You know, get out there and ride. Be safe. Get what you know. Enjoy yourself. The old hippie biker here. If you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe.